hello my wonderful people you're welcome to my channel how are you doing i hope all of you are doing great so if today is your first time of coming across this channel and if you've been watching and watching you have not made up your mind to subscribe please 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 i'm begging you hit that red button that says subscribe and also the bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video and if you have subscribed to this channel before thank you so much thank you for trusting me thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for giving a thumbs up and also thank you for sharing and please if you do have a comment drop it at the comment section below okay i will definitely come and check you out thank you my people thank you thank you i appreciate all of you god bless you so today wonderful people i brought you this sympathetic video that i saw and i just want to talk about it please i want to urge some of our ladies some of our ladies the rate you guys are killing babies it's not it's not good at all it's not advisable i just i i saw this video a set of twins was thrown in the bin i was like i said why does it mean that we have sold our conscience does it mean that we we don't have the fear of god anymore I am not, this particular video that I'm making, I'm not directing it to the women because I know no reasonable woman that is in a husband house, that is married, that will get a, that will be pregnant after nine months, you get back to the child and you go and throw the child away. I know no reasonable late woman will do this. So I am talking to the ladies. If you're a lady, you're not married, you're into relationship. Please, if you know that you are not ready to, you know, nurse a baby, or if you are not ready to carry pregnancy, why then now, why then going for sex? Why? Sex, I believe, my God, I know, is something that no one can do without. I know nobody can come, he said, oh my God, I can do without it. No. If he didn't do it in the morning, he would do it in the afternoon. If he didn't do it in the afternoon, you more definitely do it in the evening. So what I mean is, even though you do not do it at your youthful age, any time, or you kept yourself, you said, ah, when I got married, my husband would be the first person to open up that, that thing. So it's no problem. But definitely, whenever you got into marriage, you more definitely have it. So everyone is entitled to it nobody can come out and say he doesn't like to have sex he doesn't like to do any of those things no but if you know that you are not able you are not capable you are you don't have what it takes to take care of a baby to 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 be a mother why then doing it why then doing it because the rate babies are being killed the rate some ladies will get bad after nine months, you go and throw the child away. It's very, very sympathetic. It's very bad. This is inhuman. Who does that? If you know that I, this is my relationship, there are some certain things I'm not supposed to do. Please, please cover your legs. Do not look for a boy or a man for friendship. You don't need to friend. Until when you know that you are capable enough, you are, you are responsible, you are in a man's house. And whatever that comes out of it, you are married, then you can cater for it. Don't go and bring children to this world that you cannot take care of. This is bad. This is sharing blood. This is blood shared. And innocent souls just visited you. All you could do to give them a better life is just after nine months, Bearing carrying pregnancy for nine months is not nine days. It's not nine, nine, I don't know. It's not nine weeks. After all of this, they suffer and everything. People saw you that you were pregnant. And after giving birth to the child, the only thing, the only thing you can offer to them is to go and throw them away. Why? Why? You didn't even occur to you. So what about at the process of this pregnancy? 
maybe I lost my life or anything happened or through giving birth you bled and died what would I, what would you have said but God kept you God stood by you God helped you through this pregnancy time you carried it to 40 good weeks yes some 38 some 40 some even 40 41 42 you carry this pregnancy after giving birth the only thing the only way you can appreciate god almighty is to go and dump the children in the bin and they, they from there they just died it's wickedness it's heartless i am talking to my fellow women fellow ladies why i'm not too much emphasizing on the women because no reasonable woman that is married that is in a husband house that will be pregnant after nine months get birth and you go and throw the child away no any woman that does that you know that that woman is crazy you know that that woman is not a woman at all it's a beast but i'm emphasizing on my ladies those of you that are not married those of you that are students you are studying and you're into relationship based on the situation of the country no help, nothing, and you, you, you remember where you came from, or where you are coming from, your family, and you, you thought it wise. My God, this is not a wise decision. Why then having sex? Why then meeting a man to be pregnant to have fun? Why didn't you wear condom? Why can't you protect yourself for not being pregnant, and you allow all of those to happen? Maybe you want to have it raw. You want to taste it like never before. You want to feel it or the man will confuse you. Oh, please, I don't wear that to do it. I want to feel the body. Let's do it body to body. Let's have the feeling. And stupidly, you agreed. And such thing always result to this baby of a thing. Before he knows it, the thing will just catch up. You never expected it. Maybe you've been doing it all this while, all these years. It's not happening. But that one, before he knows it, he just click. And the only thing you can do is just to go and dump the children. This video I'm making is just a set of twins. A set of twins babies dumped in the bin, in the doors bin. I saw this video, I was like, my God, why? Why this kind of heartless behavior? Why this kind of heartless people in this world? There are many women, there crying for children, crying for babies. In any country that we are living in today, whether Africa especially, there is motherless home. If you know that you cannot, you are not able to take care of children, you are not able to take care of baby that you carry in your own womb, nobody carried it for you. It did not abort the child. Why then do you go and kill the children? Why? All, all those pains you pass through, all those stress. It doesn't mean anything for you. So you didn't fear for those children. You would have aborted them. You would have done that. Go for an abortion, flush them out as usual. But you didn't do that. You carried the child for nine good months. And after that, God saw you through, you delivered. And the only thing you can do, the only way you can, you can appreciate God, is just to go and dump the children in the bin for them to die. Oh my God, what, what a human being are you? Is heartless. Heartless people are the people are doing this. And tomorrow, these people, if you marry tomorrow, the child is not coming. You don't even know that it's the sin you committed years ago. It's what is following you around. You start looking where and there. Which, which uh, uh, family uh, uh, people that is after your life or your husband family, or you start going for where they will be prophesying to you, telling you who is after you and who is not after you. But you don't know that is what you did ignorantly years ago is the thing that's standing with you. It's too bad. If you're a lady, you're doing this. Please, I want to use this medium to talk to my fellow ladies. Let me just put it that way. Girls, students, I didn't say being in a relationship is a bad thing. I'm not talking about that. It's very good. But try to protect yourself. If you're in a relationship, don't be stupid. Be wise. Be wise when it comes to the terms of sexual intercourse. Always protect yourself with something. You know what I'm talking about. 
protect yourself. Be wise, you know, be wise enough to know what you're doing. No matter the kind of twist the man will tell you, ah, I don't wear this, I will give you that. After what you take this, you take that. Remember, God is not a stupid God at all, at all. Maybe that one that you want to neglect, that one you want to do, my God, maybe nothing will happen. Will be the one that will stay, no matter what you take. And even if some of you, you'll be, the, you'll be pregnant, you will not even notice there is baby in your womb. It will not come. And before you start feeling it, before he knows it, it's almost six weeks has gone, eight weeks has gone. Then you start running heta skater. Maybe by that time, there will be no money for you to go for an abortion. There will be no money for you to take care of it. You will run from pillar to post. Nobody can even borrow you at that time. All you could do is say, okay, let me leave it. And by the time you are trying to, okay, let me leave it this month, next month. And pregnancy is something that immediately you are pregnant. It grows every minute of the day. It grows every second. It's not something that say maybe next it grow this month, then the next month again. No, the way you saw you see yourself today by next even in next week you are going to be different. The stomach started pushing out every day by day. So after going through all those stress, after suffering for all those things, the only thing you can do at the end of it, after giving birth to the child, you go and dump the keys in the bin. You feel if any woman or any lady that is doing this or that have done it, you're a heartless woman. Let me just tell you. Those that are doing robbery, killing people, you know, kidnapping people, killing them, doing all sorts of evil, you are not better than them. You and them are the same category. Oh, yes. You and, and them are the same category. This is evil. It was not like before. These days, there are women that... They, 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 can't, they don't have children. They don't. Even if when you know that you're that pregnancy, you can make an arrangement to give it to someone that you know that they are capable of taking care of the baby. If you maybe go to look any rich man's house, go and dump the child there, or go to the motherless home and keep it there. And most of you that always do this, you don't go to the hospital. You don't. But go out with this infinite mercy. Will cease, you know, you will see you through all this process, you will, how you can cut the uh, uh, umbilical cord between you and the child. Sometimes I'll be imagining who will help these people to deliver the baby? Who help them to pull, to deliver this child? At the end, after all these things, all you can do to go and just kill those children. It's not fair. It's something that you will live to regret for the rest of your life. Guilty conscience is what will kill that person. No matter where you will be, whether you're a student, even in your class, anywhere you go, you remember that you gave birth to a child and you dumped that baby in the bin. Talk more of twins for that matter. Only God knows what they're going to be tomorrow. It's very bad. If you're a woman, if you're a lady, you're living this kind of a life, please, it will not help you a lot. It will not help you. Because tomorrow, you will look for those children. You did not see them. You are looking for who to blame. You are looking for your friend. You are looking for your family. You are looking for running from pillar to post, looking for the fruit of the womb, where you did not keep it. But we forgot that years ago, something like that came to your door. You did not welcome them. Barrenness is so... People are buried today. So 25 years I've been married. I don't have children. 30 years of marriage, no children. What happened? What happened? Some of them, when you go to the house, they say there is no womb. Or their womb is damaged. Either through aborting children. Because nothing can damage a woman's womb if it's not abortion. Oh yes, the womb cannot just say it will go to rotting or not. Fibroid is something different. Say the, a woman, you have fibroid, that one is okay. Maybe during the one that fibro is so serious that when they are operating it, they have to remove there's some fibro that it has to go with the womb. They can't remove the fibro without the womb. They cannot remove the womb without the fibro. There are some devilish evil fibro like that. That one is different. But not when your body is okay, just out of pleasure. You want to have fun. And the fun will not lead to 
pregnancy, you can not say, okay, here, even if you're pregnant, you can go to school, you can go, I know where we came from. If you're a student, your family are struggling for you to survive in life, all of a sudden pregnancy just a call, or call. I'm sorry, you will try to do anything possible to make sure you, you, you remove it. Yes, because of what people will say, because of what your family will say, because of the shame you will go through. These are the problems that we're having in the society. Why some ladies, they will get pregnant, they will try to do undo to make sure that they flush that pregnancy, no matter how many, some even remove six months pregnancy. Some people, and this one now you just put to bed, a set of twins, only God know whether they are boys or boy or a girl, or boys, boys or girls, girls, God gave to you. Saw you through all through pregnancy, stress, suffer and everything. Only thing you can do is just to go and throw them away. This is heartless. This is evil. This is evil. So my people, I brought you this video for you to, it's not some a playing video you are going to watch. But I just want to attach it to this topic I just brought to you. For you to see how people are so heartless in life. People are so mean. So mean you can just shed your own blood. Oh my goodness. Will you say that this is out of ignorance? No, this is not. It's a pure opening eyes. Because you, you can't cut out for them. Maybe you don't have what it takes to, to carry them. And these are the things you need to put into consideration before you are dating any man, before you are opening your body. So why it can call to pregnancy? These are the things you need to put in place. So if this thing happen, what will happen? Maybe the man will deny you. It's obvious these days. Men are denying pregnancy because of hardship in the country. No job, nothing. So every many young guy now that you told my God, when you see you for the first time, oh baby, I love you. Without you, I cannot sleep. You are the honey in my sugar. You are the sugar in my honey. You are the bed that sings in, on, 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 on my window every morning. You are the roof that I look to watch my sky. Those kind of words they are going to tell you. We ladies, we see all those things. We know. The, those, the, during those days of mine, is when we, love, we write love letter. My God, you are the, the sugar that is in my tea, all those kind of stuff. During those days, we, we write a love letter. Not now that handy is everywhere. You can just send message. Para, para, para. So, my people, please, my fellow women, my fellow ladies, I'm begging you, please, always protect yourself whenever you are having sexual intercourse with your boyfriend, with whosoever, with your fiance, with whoever, until you are sure that you are married, until you are sure that that ring is in your hand, until you are sure that that man has married you and put inside the house. Because no reasonable man will marry a woman who paid her bride price, marry her and brought her into your home, both of your husband and wife, and she'll be pregnant, you tell her to abort it. No reasonable man will do that. Oh, after she put to bed, you said no, you should go and kill the children. Except you are a ritualist. Even though you are a ritualist, you will not do it openly. But if none of these things that are mentioned, just that you are stupidly in a relationship and all of a sudden the pregnancy just came up. You did not abort the child when it was one month, two months, three months. Here, let us, before three months, if you want to abort any child, you have to abort the child. And it's going to be in your record that you bought a child and there's a, you give a, a tangible reason here in Europe. The reason why you are bought a child. I'm talking about here in Germany. It will be in your record any time, any day that you are bought a child. You are bought a child so, so, so years ago. And these are your reasons. So even though you started having other children, it's always there. If many of you that have given birth here, if I'm saying lie, please drop your comments at the comment section below. Say no. What you're saying is not true. So, that is it. For no reason, as a human being, after you, from four months, no matter, as long as you're pregnant, don't be ashamed. I know it's because of this condition of where we came out from. Yeah. These are the things that have been there all these years. Parents will be talking, people, there are some ladies, they don't care. They will give birth to the child and take care of it because you don't know who. You don't know if that child will be the one that will bless you tomorrow. If that child will be the one that will wipe your tears tomorrow. Those ch children like that, there's many great men today. 
they, their mother or their parents tell you the story of their birth, you will say, wow, oh yes, those are the children that become great in the society. But all of a sudden, you shorten that life with them. They just came up to life to witness the life. Immediately, all they see is darkness all over them. They return them back to their curator. It's not good. Tomorrow, if you marry, then you will start hustling for children. Prayer from here, drinking different kind of alcohol, drinking all sorts of concussion, English and Igbo, looking for fruit of the womb. While years ago, you dumped, you dumped the, your babies in the, in, the, in the refuge, some you flush them out. Please, my fellow ladies, let us cut our coat according to our size. If you are having fun, it's bound to be, have fun. Nobody that said when he or she is young, they did not do that. Please be careful. Be careful not to commit murder. Let it be the sin that you are, the one you look through your eyes or the one you talk through your mouth is the one you are going to battle with God for. Than killing a human being, a full grown up child came to the world. Heaven and earth have bared witness of them. You shorten their life, you waste them and throw them to the bin. This time around, many women are looking for children to buy. Many women, they don't have children, they are looking for such children. Go to the motherless home and give it to them. Go to the, there are some sisters, some churches, give it to them there. Go to the police station, give it to them. Nobody will kill you. Some people these days, when something like that happens, they will contact social media. Anyone can help. Before you know it, things can change around. Such children bring blessing to the home. So my wonderful people, please, if you're a lady, and you're living this kind of a life, I beg in the name of God, please, for the sake of you are a human, your mother did not kill you when she was pregnant of you. Your mother did not abort, abort you when she was pregnant of you. Because if she did, you wouldn't have been there today. You wouldn't have been there today doing all those things. Why would you do that to your own child? Why would you abort your own baby? Why would you kill your own child that you have seen, you heard his or her cry, she suckled your breast or not, you just felt that my breast will fall. Now, I don't, people will be laughing at me. That's the reason many women, ladies are giving. Their friends will be mocking at them. They cannot be able to do their runs, do whatever they are, they are doing before. When they are going out, the baby, they need to go out with the child. Nobody will take care of the baby. These are the excuses they are giving. But when you remember that after you left, not to abort that child, and you carry him or her, and you get bad. So what is the need of killing the baby? So my people, please, let us be careful. Let us mind the things we do, because the judgment of God is coming soon and soonest. So my wonderful people, thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Please share this video if it gets to you, so that many of our sisters there that are not married, that are into relation. They can be careful. They will tread with caution. They will know that there is something whenever you are going for such. I know everybody knows it. Even a 10 years old child now can tell you much about sexual intercourse and the prevention in it. So thank you so much for your support. Thank you for loving my channel. Thank you for watching. And please, if you have not subscribed, hit the red button that says subscribe and also the bell notification so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video thank you all of you thank you so much i love you i remain your man blue god bless you thank you thank you thank you and subscribe please give this video a, lot, a thumbs up okay i will see you in my next video i love you all cha cha